Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hard Crime and Progress and I'm just doing a bit of work on prayer here. I've started doing my daily ectofunctor sort of free claims so I can get some free bone meal and slime. I think it's 39 a day. So I'm now that I've got agility and fletching way ahead of uh, prayer I can do this and not worry about not getting tears of Guthys XP so uh, yeah I think this is a pretty efficient way to get some prayer XP. One thing I'm also going to start doing is get back into doing some herb runs because it's been a while and I'm going to be doing some farming contracts as well. I really want some snake grass seeds. Uh, one of the best things about Hallowed Sepulchre was actually getting a ton of Renar seeds. So I'm going to be able to make a lot of prayer potions but I'm pretty low on snake grass and yeah so that's why I want to do some farming contracts as well. Oh and another thing I didn't mention about completing the Kandoran Elite Diary is I think I actually get even more increased yield from this patch. So I think I might start planting Renars in this one. And I suppose I'd better start doing my birdhouse runs again. Been a while since I've done these, but I just want to start stacking up as many supplies as I can for maxing. I've got a lot of grimy herbs stocked up because I never really used to clean them while doing my farm runs, but I think it's about time I get started on them. And there's probably a decent bit of XP in it as well. I really want to get started uh, focusing on getting 99 herb loss, probably this episode. I also wanted to test out my Ring of Endurance and I have been meaning to do some smithing as well. I've got a lot of ore here, I've got 4200 rune ore which I want to get smithed up and I've got adamant and mithril if I can get to it, if I can be bothered and 30,000 gold ore which is a lot of XP and I want to try a new method where I um, use a mixture of gold ore and another type of ore like rune. I think that's supposed to be faster so I want to try that out. And then I can test the Ring of Endurance and see if that's any good as well. I've got a thousand charges in it, so it should hopefully be uh, lasting me a while. So I think I should get 40 energy from this. That's great. And then it lasts four minutes as well. Yeah, that's going to be uh, save me half the time um, in using stamina potions. That's nice. And there's my first inventory of rune bars. I'm about to get level 96 smithing here, and I actually quite like this method, it's pretty chill. So basically all I'm doing is bringing an inventory of coal with me, with every inventory of gold. And then for every three inventories of gold, I'm just bringing my um, rune ore, and I'm basically getting all that done for free. And yeah, oh, I skipped past it, but there is level 96 smithing. And I'm just going to keep doing this and get through all my gold ore, rune ore, and then probably a bit of adamant, because I think I'll be done with the rune first. This is the last inventory of rune ore I've got to smelt, and then I should have a nice big stack of uh, rune bars after this. Okay, let's see how much... Okay, we got over 4,000 bars. How much is this going to be worth? That's got to be worth a lot, right? I'm going to have to decide what I want to do with all these, but first I'm going to smelt the rest of my um, gold ore as well and start smelting some mithril and adamant. I just got another fletching level, level 95 fletching, so I should be able to make dragon darts without a boost now, and I think I've got about 1300 of them in my bank, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll make them soon. I'm just finishing up using all my hydra bones, and now I can move on to my dagoneth bones, got quite a few of them, so that should be a lot of XP. So I have been doing a lot of herb runs the past week and I've gathered up quite a lot of herbs here. I've still got a lot to clean and I might go and pay to get them cleaned. I'm not sure. I don't know if I can be bothered doing this many thousands. I got so many of them. But um, I want to make a start on getting some secondaries and I think to start off with, I think I might do some Seracnus and try and get some more red spider eggs. I think I'll try out my D-claws here. I don't think I've properly tried them out on a boss since I got them. There's a hard clue and a grubby key. Alright, I can't do this clue, so I'm going to attempt a master. Pretty sure this is where the hard clue told me to go. Oh well. There's an elite clue. Finally managed to get a casket, let's see what we get. And it was terrible, nice. And there's the first giant egg sack, that's a hundred red spider eggs right there. And another one. And a third one, you love to see it. And this should be my 400th Seracnus kill. Yep, there it is. There's another elite clue. I'm going to attempt another master. Even the pet rock has a party hat on. This is uh, this is brilliant. I love that they put that on the pet rock as well. <laughs> what the hell is this clue, man? This is a weird selection of items I've got to bring. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got them all, but um, yeah, that is strange. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make the stash unit here. I've gotten all the items, except I don't actually have the bull roarer, and I looked about to get it, and I need a cooked umi wrap, so I guess I'm going to have to go get one of them. For me, stupid bird. Alright, there's my bull roarer. 
hopefully this will be the reward. And there it is. And it's not great to be honest, but at least I've got this stashed done permanently. That one was kind of a pain. I'm going to start opening a few of these grubby keys I have. And I could still get the um, recolors for the Seracnus pet because I don't have a pet. Uh, and there's these two egg sacks, uh, orange and blue, so hopefully I get one of them. I think it's like 1 in 25, and I've got a few keys now. Uh, uh, well, there we go. First first one, I get the blue egg sack. Awesome, I got a recolor. Nice. Alright, I've got Sriracha here, and let's use the blue egg sack. I assume that's all I've got to do. Alright, so now I've got a Metamorphosis, and it's blue. That's cool. That's a lot cooler than the base one. Alright, maybe I get the orange one too. So I've got about 4,000 snapdragons and about 2,000 red spider eggs, so I still need to make up the difference. And first of all, I'm going to get the uh, eggs, I've got three of them. So I'm going to empty all of these, I think I need a knife out actually. Um, so I'm going to empty all of these, and that should be another 300. So I should be up to, yeah, 2200. And I think now, now that I've got the uh, recall of the pet, I think I'm going to instead go and do some Tower of Life. I think that is faster for red spider eggs, so I'm going to see how long it takes me to get the rest of these. First of all, I've got a lot of sardines to buy. I'm not sure how many exactly, but if I need 2,000 red spider eggs, then I'm probably going to need quite a few hundred of these. I might get like five or 600. That'll probably do it. If you don't know, this is a pretty good way to get sardines on an Iron Man, basically. You just give them to Pia the Seer here in Relica, and you can buy them from this fishmonger. It's like 200 in stock, so they restock very quick as well, so you can get tons here. Okay, I've got just under 600 raw sardines, so I'm going to see how many red spider eggs I can turn this into. I guess I've not done this in a couple of years, because I'm getting collection log slots. So uh, yeah, I mustn't have done this since before uh, the end of 2018. <laughs> There's a red satchel, another collection log slot. So I got 59 from the first inventory. If I can profit about 50 every time, then this should not take long at all. I finished gathering up all the red spider eggs I need, and I'm not going to lie, that was pretty boring, but it didn't take too long, only a couple of hours. I got about 500 spideens and got a bit of a 2,000 um, red spider eggs, take away the 500 that I needed to make the spideens. But yeah, so that's enough, and I'm going to start working on some of the secondaries now. Been making sure to do my birdhouse runs pretty regularly. I'm probably not going to have enough for all the toad plaques I have, but you know, I'll make a decent dent into them. So I'd rather just get all my snake grass from farming, and on top of that, I'm planting some watermelons as well, just so I've got stuff for ultra compost. All right, so I got about 450 snake grass from this one farm run, and I think with this, that should be about all I need for now. And there is level 96 herb lord. Just been cleaning a ton of herbs and. Now that I've got a ton of XP from her cleaning and I've leveled up, I think I'm just going to clean all the rest at Nada. <laughs> and if I'm going to Nada, I might as well get the nests crushed as well, so I'm going to get all the seeds and rings out of these. Okay, that's all of them opened. I've got exactly 1,200 birds' nests, which is pretty satisfying. And uh, honestly, it's a pretty good way of getting, like, uh, sapphire and emerald rings. It'd be more useful early game, but uh, yeah, for, like, rings of recoil and rings of dueling, that's pretty good. Just checking if I'm going to get any evil chicken outfit pieces real quick. Unfortunately not. I do think I actually already have the legs, but it was before collection log, so it's just sitting in my house. I'm also going to gather up some more dragon scale dust. I could just do some uh, potato cacti, but um, then I wouldn't actually have the anti-fires, and I do actually want the anti-fires because they're useful. So I've gathered up a ton of herbs here, and this isn't all the herbs I've got, but I think there should be more than enough to get me straight to 99, so I'm going to get these all cleaned and decanted. Just did a quick price check of all the herbs I've got in my inventory, and that is almost a hundred million worth of herbs, and I've got more in the bank, so yeah, that's an insane amount. I've got a bit over 65 million cash, and I'm not looking forward to seeing my cash stack after doing all this, but uh, first of all, time to crush some uh, bird's nests and unicorn horns to get those done, and uh, that's not too expensive, still above 65 mil. Alright, gonna clean the herbs first. And clean all your herbs at 200 coins each. Oh god, what am I going to have left after this? Ooh, okay, that's like... Yeah, 2 million GP gone. Um, yeah, a little over 2 mil, but honestly, I was sick of cleaning herbs, so I'd say that's worth it. Now it's time for the decanting. So, um, actually, no, not decanting. It's uh, making the unfinished potions, so... Oof. 
that was that was a lot <laughs> that saved me a lot of time but yeah that was pretty expensive oh well uh, to be fair basically at 58 mil so i'd say maybe not necessarily worth it but for my sanity definitely worth it i think now i can basically just make potions and get straight to 99 herb law but first things first i want to make a few more amulets of chemistry to get the most out of all these potions i figure a few more inventories like this will probably be enough and that should be plenty. Okay, so before you start uh, screaming at the screen, I've, I've realized the problem. Uh, Topaz amulets is not what I needed. These make burning amulets which teleport you to the wilderness. I probably should have looked it up. It's been a while since I've made them. But uh, I need jade amulets. And I have plenty of jade, thankfully. And I've not wasted too many red topazes. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go make them instead. And that's all the amulets of chemistry done. So I can finally get started. I'm back at the blast furnace, and I'm about to get a smithing level here. There it is, level 97 smithing, so only two more levels to go, and I should still have a decent more amount of XP from smelting the gold ore here. Oh, I could, and I can make rune kite shields, finally. <laughs> and this is the last of the super restores I can make. So I've got all them done, made about 4,000 almost, which is pretty good. And I basically want to do all the really useful potions first because um, if I have like less useful potions just for XP, I, can, I might be able to leave them at the end if I've got uh, extras. Okay, this is the last inventory of gold ore I'm going to do here at the Blast Furnace. And then I think I'm basically done with the Blast Furnace unless I ever need any more ores for some reason or another. So uh, yeah, I am like a million and a half XP away from 99. So I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use my um, rune bars. I've got 4,000 rune bars here, and I'm going to turn them all into darts, I think, and that'll help with the fletching grind as well, and give me some darts to use as well, because uh, they would actually be useful. And then I've got 6,000 myth bars, 12,000 addy bars, so I should have more than enough for the giant's foundry to take me to 99, so that'll be the plan. Also, shout out to the Ring of Endurance. It's been uh, very convenient not having to stamina so much. It really just is... Uh, it doesn't really save you like a ton of time, but it's it's really convenient, I found. And I was uh, I had it on full 1,000 charges at the start of this. So I used about 120 in this entire grind, so not too bad. I've been doing some more Apatol Agility course, just because, well, for one, I don't want to leave my Agility behind while my other skills get ahead, because I do still need to max this as well. And two, I think it would just be cool to have all the monkey backpacks, honestly. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying to do some... I think I need 2,000 laps here in total, so that's going to take a while, but there is 94 agility. Speaking of monkey backpacks, I should be about to complete lap 500 here, which I think gives me another backpack. Yep, I can get a maniacal monkey, which I think... Can I just do it? Um, let me see. I don't remember how to do this. Can I just transform it already? Yeah, there we go. Got a little maniacal monkey, that's cool. Also, I just realized I've been recording with a HD plugin on, which might have been a little jarring, but uh, I just like the HD plugin on in this area, it's quite cool. I suppose I better get started on some Giant's Foundry as well, because I'll be needing to do this basically all the way to 99, other than some ruined outs, so yeah, I'm gonna get started here. I should be getting a smithing level in a second once I hand this sword in, if I'm not mistaken. And yep, there it is. That's level 98 smithing, so only one level to go. Of course, this is the uh, the hardest level, but I think we've basically got 99 smithing in the bag now. It's just going to take a bit to get there. Just got finished making my Sarah brews. I made some super anti-poisons as well. And there is level 97 herb law. We're closing in. And I can make divine super combat potions. And that's the last of the prayer potions made. Hopefully won't have to make more of them for a while. I decided to check the collection log for the Giant's Foundry, and I think I might actually just have enough points now to buy everything, so may as well do it, I guess. Uh, so the big one is the Colossal Blade, which I think is basically pointless for me. But, I mean, I got nothing else to spend the points on. Um, there's the Smithing Catalyst, which I think is one. There's this Kovax Grog, which again, it's a Smithing Boost, so I don't really need it right now, but I'll take that as well. And the ore pack, which will give me some ore, so that's actually kind of nice, I guess. Um, let's open this. 11 mithril, 19 coal. Okay, not brilliant, but still. we got the collection log slot, and that's the log green. Okay, and that's the ranging potions finished. I should have plenty of them for quite a while. 
should be coming up on the first prayer level in quite a while here in a second. I've been doing my uh, Ectofunctus dailies and using Dagon of Bones. I think this should be it in a second. And there we go, level 93 prayer. It's going to take a while to get to 99. I just handed in my 200th sword at Giant's Foundry and I was thinking maybe instead of going to 99 with just this, I could actually make use of all these adamant bars I've stocked up. I was thinking maybe saving them for darts or something, but like, I don't think adamant darts are very good anymore, so maybe use all the rune bars for darts and instead use all the adamant bars. Um, instead of just having them sitting around, I could make plate bodies and then have like a ton of stuff to elk. And it'll still be pretty decent XP. I think it's like 200k XP per hour making plate bodies, so I might give that a shot and see what it's like. So currently I'm getting about 275k XP per hour, which is pretty good. The uh, smithing outfit speeds it up a bit, but the downside is with that I can't wear graceful and I think I will need to use a couple stamina potions. Well, I've been making tons of adamant plate bodies and rune darts, and I'm just about done. This will be the last batch of rune darts I'm going to make, and then that's 99 smithing, which will be the first time I've ever gotten that. And on an Iron Man as well, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be because of Giant's Foundry. That helped a lot with uh, the XP. And, uh, yep, almost there, three more bars, and I've got, like, 30,000, 40,000 rune dart tips, I think, now, which is pretty good. And there it is, level 99 smithing, I remember where to get this cape, go speak the Thurgo. So I just checked what I made, and it's 1,740 adamant plate bodies, which is worth, uh, 16 million alk, so that'll be good. And over 40,000 rune darts, so that'll last me a while, and give me a decent amount of fletching XP, so I think that was a good decision there. And um, let's go get the cape. Hello, Thurgo, can I have the cape, please? And there it is, the uh, smithing skill cape. Yep, definitely matches the smithing outfit pretty well, which makes sense. And I don't remember the emote for this one, let's see. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I think that one was probably one of the better skill giver modes, and I do like the look of the cape, especially with the smithing outfit, it looks good. Now, as far as uses for the skill cape, I think it acts as goldsmithing gauntlets, which is alright, but not, like, super helpful. But the uh, the best thing about it is you can actually fill the coal bag more than, more than normal, I think it's normally 27 and now it's 36. So if I'm ever making more bars of the blast furnace, then this will come in handy. But uh, the best thing, really, is that now this entire column of skills is 99s, which is pretty satisfying, so... Just these two to go. So I've been doing my Ectofuntus daily and I've actually managed to get through all of my Dagoneth bones, so time to start working on these Drake bones, they're the next best ones I've got. Back to doing some Herblot and I'm just about done with the anti-fire potions here, there we go. So this should last me through the Briar Grind. About to get a Herblot level here. And there is level 98 Herblot, so closing in on another 99. And I could make extended super anti-fires. Oh, that's interesting, actually. <laughs> I've made it through all the Drake bones too, so now it's just the Wyvern bones left, and then I'm on to the big stack of dragon bones, and that's it. There's the super strength potions just about done. I've been farming limpwort roots for ages, so I've been able to make plenty of these, almost 6,000. That's the Wyvern bones done, so just onto this big stack of dragon bones. I'm just about to finish my 1,000th lap on the Apatol Agility course, so I should get another monkey transformation here. So I'll take this off and transform. I should get the Skeleton Monkey, which I think should be a pretty cool one. Let's try it out. I'm hiding behind a tree. That's kind of creepy, to be honest, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, I might go back to Hallowed Sepulchre for my agility training now, because I do need to uh, start getting some faster XP, I think. Okay, I'm finished with the Super Defense Potions, and... Got quite a lot of them now, and I'm moving on to the magic potions, and once I've done these, I think that should get me straight to 99. And this is my last inventory of potions before 99, finally. And uh, there it is, level 99 Herblore at long last, and that is pretty satisfying. Let's go get the cape. Hello, cake mix. I'd like my cape, please. There you go, 99k, and here's the cape. This is a cool cape, I like this cape. Nice, uh, nice colors on it, and uh, all right, let's do the emote. Yeah, pretty solid emote, honestly, not bad. Let me just catch this magpie in playing. I mean, I know it's uh, kind of an important moment, but I, I'm not going to turn down 
Mystic gloves. Okay, yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice emote, honestly. Nice cape. Um, and so what it does is I think I can get a free mortar and pestle from it. It isn't like anything massive, but you know, if I'm around about and I need a mortar and pestle, there it is. And also I think I can use grimy herbs to make unfinished potions. So that'll save me some money or time, depending on however I wanted to do it. But I don't have to bother cleaning herbs anymore. So that's nice. And I think I'm going to end the episode there. And it was pretty successful. We got the uh, smithing cape, 99 smithing, which originally I thought might have been a problem on the account. Um, just because, well, not a problem, but it would have been annoying to have to buy all that gold. But the Giant's Foundry really helped out with that. And Herb Law, honestly, a lot of people say Herb Law is bad on an Iron Man. I think maybe it changed when the Farmer Guild got added, but I didn't think this was that much of a problem, honestly. It's, uh, it's not too bad. And I've stocked up on tons of potions, so that's good too. And uh, yeah, three skills left to go, Agility, Prayer, and Fletching, and Fletching shouldn't be too bad, so two difficult skills left to go, and uh, yeah, getting very close to max, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you guys in the next one.